Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CATB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I've done this analysis on quite a routine basis, including yesterday. So that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And after today's price action, definitely some updates need to be made. Although from a presentation standpoint, this one is somewhat tricky. I say that because there's quite a bit of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by perspective? Well, if you're a day trader and you bought a pair during that first 30 minutes and you wanted to sell within you know, five minutes after buying, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. Now, if you care about the big picture of things, yeah, I get it, the price pulled back today. But keyword being today. Big picture, looking at multiple days, the bulls do still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. And when you have higher bases being built over longer periods of time, that's how those long-term uptrends are constructed. And hopefully this will make more sense as you know we get the, the updates here made. So the first thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning, get rid of that line right there. Yeah, it pertains, it's just not relevant anymore. And I don't wanna have a million lines everywhere and risk causing clutter and confusion. So first update though comes about from a foundational principle in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So for those of you that did watch yesterday's video, hopefully you remember me talking about 280 as a level of resistance. And now that the price is above it, you would wanna see this act as support. And case in point about big picture perspective and why the bulls are still in full control and have plenty of opportunity. Let's say the price actually continues to pull back further and further and further, and then goes right here and then behaves in this manner and starts to kind of work its way back upwards. In that situation, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have that set right there. You'd have that set down there. And you get the point, another set right there. Now you picture these as stair steps and you have all these stair steps going in the upwards direction. And that's the name of the game. That's what uh, you know, I'm, I'm you know, getting at in terms of a long-term uptrend. So as long as stair steps are being built higher and higher, then the chart will take care of itself. And another easy way to kind of measure the stair steps is by using that purple line there. Meaning as long as the price stays above that purple line as the line itself moves upwards, then the bulls are in full control, no questions asked. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, yeah, right up around 380 is indeed a level of resistance. But before we start talking about that one and doing battle with it, bulls first gotta get back up above the 350 mark. So 350, that initial key level of resistance going into tomorrow. All in all though, as long as the price keeps on building higher bases, uh, the chart will take care of itself. No price can go up and up and up every single day. Pullbacks are healthy, pullbacks happen. And as long as it's all uh, you know, being done at higher levels each time, then you know, the uptrend uh, will not only remain intact, but it'll gain that much more momentum. So we'll see how the next couple of days unfold. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.